Welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph at Knots and Needles. This is my July makes and August goals video. So my last video I said I wanted to make the Albion blouse by Peppermint Magazine, a free pattern, the Alex jumpsuit by Workshop and a apple tree design cardigan, grow on me cardigan cocoon. I have to say I achieved some of those goals. I made the cardigan and I also made matching shorts, both 12 months to 3 years. Um, if you've seen my previous videos you know that I love their designs. They're really, just really economical and um, for me save me a lot of money because I don't have to buy clothes every 6 months for my toddler because I know they'll last years. Um, so yeah, two items close for a fiver that are going to last a couple of years. I don't think you can really get better than that, especially in today's sort of cost of living crisis and just the disaster that we're going through on this planet at the moment. It's not, oh, not, not good. The Albion blouse I did not make because I got scared. I think it's possibly the techniques are a wee bit beyond me. Um, so I got a little bit intimidated and then the fit of it, the crop style, I, I've tried to get on board with sort of some of the crop styles and I don't think it's for me because I don't own enough high waisted trousers or high waisted shorts. Um, so I'm gonna, I have cut out the pattern pieces and I'm gonna make it out of an old duvet cover that I got from a charity shop and I'm gonna try and just make, make it fit really well because I really want to learn some of the techniques um, that is included in the pattern because I, obviously, as you know, I want to up upskill my my repertoire of sewing talent this year, and I do think it's a, a lovely blouse to take me through autumn to spring and winter, and it's just a lovely piece. But I might push it back to September um, because. One, it's really sunny now, it's August, I don't really need a blouse, um, a long sleeve blouse right yet. And I just need to just work up the confidence, maybe see a few more people make it and see what, how they change it. Because I saw one lady did lengthen it and a few people have lengthened it a wee bit. Um, so I'd need to let, make sure if I lengthened it, it would cover my, my, my lower belly <laughs> um, and not sort of dig into it all right up. Uh, so the the third item I wanted to make is the Alex jumpsuit by Workshop. Our website is helloworkshop.co.uk, and it's the first time I've tried their patterns. It was really easy to print off and put together at home. I had no problems um, piecing it. And I really love this pattern. As you can see, I have made two of them. So this is the first one I made out of the llama and cactus fabric. This is a collot pattern, like the lengths of collot, and I just um, I just cut the pattern so they made sh um, a, a short jumpsuit because um, I think collots are really not um, that nice I think they make people look a lot shorter by cutting your legs in half it's it's, it's not a style that I, I really like I either like shorts or full length trousers but that's personal preference I did make a few changes to this pattern as well I included the little plastic snaps instead of buttons because I am lazy and I don't like buttons and I have tons of snaps I bought them for my son's rompers because the metal snaps just kept coming off and it was driving me up the wall so I thought F this, I'll just get the plastic ones. And there's so many colours that they match um, both my jumpsuits, which is amazing. The collar design on this is fantastic. Um, it's This is two pieces and they seem right in the back. And it looks like a proper collar, so it's just the way it's cut. I've made the ginkgo shirt before and the collar is a proper collar like you find in shirts. And that was, it was a little bit finickety, it was good to learn the process and how to make it, but this is quick and easy. I didn't include an interface in because this is just a casual romper, it's not as if I'm wearing it anywhere fancy. Um, 
I don't know if it does look a bit too workwear with the collar. I like them, that's what counts. Um, yeah, I know if you've watched any of my previous videos, this has got sailboats on it and I was really reluctant to cut it up because I, I, it's really beautiful fabric, I really like it. But after making my llama one, I realised that this, this is what I wanted to make. And it's brilliant. I can sit down and in the trouser section I have enough space for my belly. I know I can go eat a massive meal and still feel comfortable. The waistband is perfect. I've got plenty of space in this. It's relatively easy to get in and out of so I can go to the toilet. I can bend down and pick up my son. Yeah, I made the size 16 which is pretty much the size I am in sewing patterns. And I really like the fit. This has also been through the wash and the dryer. Um, so it's a wee bit tighter than it was, but the fit is still lovely. I do have a few criticisms of the patterns. The way the pattern instructions are formatted, it's just really poor formatting. There's not many um, pictures, it's just a few diagrams included. Um, and they're it's just not well formatted. Um, it's a little bit, the text is a little bit small. Um, it's not used like step one, step two, step three um, and so it's got the diagram so it's got like a diagram and then the text around it which I think is just makes it everything a bit more crowded um, so that that's a li just a little bit of a criticism the instructions are only sort of two pages long um, for a whole romper which I don't think it's not in depth this pattern is not holding your hand if you're a beginner or a confident beginner which is what I would really class myself as it just doesn't hold your hand and I did come unstuck with the waistband because this is obviously made separate from this and then the waistband is so as you can see it's there's no wrong side of fabric and I had to ask for help on this a lovely lady on Reddit gave me some proper instructions and a few other people did say it's a little bit convoluted so I wasn't the only one. I do plan on making a video on my construction of these two and I will include sort of the updated instructions on how to do the waistband without getting super confused. I mean if you've made this and you understood it please let me know because I, I just went whew. Um, so no no no. So I don't know if I would make anything from them again maybe if there was like a YouTube video that I could follow along with first I know there's also like a little bit of criticism of people just using videos <laughs> instead of learning how to sew properly but I think there's so many different designers now and so many different indie pattern creators that it's not everyone has been trained the same way and if you're just wanting to make closer fun which is what I'm doing I don't want to go to fashion school and I have to learn everything, I just want an idiot's guide to sewing basically. Um, maybe in a couple of years I will want more precision and more accuracy and I'll start making things from scratch without using a pattern. But for now I just want to make clothes that I'm going to wear and feel comfortable and happy in. Um, I really do want and a wardrobe that makes me smile and go, I feel confident. I really want my confidence back. These jumpsuits are amazing and I probably will make more because they're super easy to wear. They fit really nicely. I think the fit of my bum's nice, the fit of my waist, you can tell I have a waist and they cover the tops of my arms. They're just made out of 100% cotton but I do think they'd work really well in a jersey. Um, cotton poplin, a more drapey fabric I think would nice, it'd sort of shape nicer on your chest maybe but yeah I'm ha I'm, I'm pretty happy. I mean I love these jumpsuits, I've worn them like so much since I got them and that's rare for me, usually I just wear my shorts and t-shirt and that's it. Okay moving on to my August makes, I'm not going to overstretch myself this month because I don't like not achieving what I set out to say I want to achieve. So I have bought a few patterns. So I got taken in by the Friday Pattern Company and their marketing on Instagram. I am 
a sucker for marketing on the internet. You, I'm a marketer's dream. You market it enough times and I will buy it. I bought the Seguro set. I don't necessarily think it's gonna suit me, but I love the top, I love the arms on it, and I love the deep V. So, I, I pro yeah, so many people have made it now and I just think, I just, I just need to make one. I've just, I gave me all that marketing, honestly. I fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. And they have like a 25% discount code, and I was like, oh. And they've got YouTube videos to follow along if I get stuck. I mean, what more could you want from an indie pattern designer? Like, this is what I loved about my Tilly and the Buttons Dungarees, was there's a, a YouTube so along. I just think, brilliant, you you can take my money because you've gone above and beyond as a pattern designer to make sure that my making process is easy and smooth as possible. Um, so I'm going to make the Seguro set maybe in the future. I might just make the top, but I do quite like how high-waisted the trousers are, and we'll see if I have enough fabric. The second pattern I bought was the patina blouse. So I've got a couple, I've got quite a few meters of um, blouse fabric now, and I have sort of been looking for the perfect blouse, and I think this one's it. So it's a really beautiful design, it's got a really like a statement collar, it's got a nice V, it comes in short sleeve or long sleeves, and I just think, because I like my H&M blouses, um, but they're a wee bit tight on the arms now, because I bought them when I was smaller. So I think the patina blouses will be a perfect autumn winter staple, they'd be able to go well with under my jumpers, something to throw on with my jeans. Honestly, I'm really excited to make them and I hope I can pair my blouses with a lot of other items I already own. Um, I don't think I'm going to make them this month though, I think that will be next month. The third pattern I bought was the Elysian bodysuit. And I've never, I've worn bodysuits before, I've never really been something that's been on my radar. And then I think I saw a couple of Instagram reels about people making, I think it's a top shot or a gap or this, this bodysuit. But then the Friday Pattern Company did a video of their bodysuit and how it paired with so many other of their patterns. And I just thought it was a really good video, like one item of clothes and it went with like nearly everything because it's just a top basically, isn't it? And I was like, ooh, that's nice. And I like the fit of it. I like, I like, I like, how closely it fitted and I was like that will go really well with my red tilly in the button dungarees that I'm going to make in the future so I'm going to make it out of this it's a bit loud isn't it I would make this into a full length dress but I don't have enough of fabric so I'm going to make a bodysuit out of it the Elysian bodysuit and I'm so excited I'm really excited so this is going to be number one of my August goals yeah, I already have the pattern pieces cut out, so that's, yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited. So I'm hopefully this is going to fit, and this will go well with like my jeans, it'll go well with shorts and like cooler days, it will it'll go, honestly, it's got to go with everything. I have high hopes, I have high hopes, I do, I do, I do. So, yeah, uh, and... I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't buy any more patterns, but then I did go and buy another pattern of Amazon, which is a floral length dress pattern, I can't remember what it's called, um, because I got a dress, a new casual dress for my birthday, um, and I really love it. I didn't think I was a floral length dress person, but it's I really like the fit, so I went and bought the pattern, and I'm going to make a couple of dresses. I need more fabric though. I need to get some more fabric for that, which is definitely not a priority if you saw my last fabric video because I did a massive haul. So, but I just want to have the pattern in because I know I'm going to make it in the future. So, the second item I'm going to make this month is the McCall's M7906 and I'm going to make number D, which is the full length skirt. Uh, basically, this is a lot of, of pleating, plaits, and a ton of buttons. Well, I don't think I have enough buttons at all, 
but I will um, I'll go I'll go find some in a charity shop or buy some and then I'll probably will make a matching um, waistband to go with these because I think if I make it um, the right size the a fabric um, tie will just help it fit nicely I think this is going to be a great transition piece from autumn into winter because you can wear I think it'll look really nice with boots and sort of tights or leggings and it'll go well with jumpers and I'm going to make it out of a cotton poplin and it's a, this design is it's a lot I know it's a lot but I think it would go nice with like a black um, just plain tops because this is so <laughs> it's so loud I don't. I think it might suit me. I think the colours might suit me. I don't know. What, tell me what you think. Do these colours suit me? It doesn't matter if they don't suit me. I'm making it anyway. I have four metres of this, and pattern D calls for so maybe size 16. It does call for three, uh, three me three metres and seven eighths. So pretty much nearly a full four metres in the 45 inch wide, which I think this is what this is. So I just have enough fabric for this. It's going to be quite heavy, really heavy in fact, but hopefully that will mean it will be not too much pain in the bum to iron. So I'm only going to make two things this month. That is it. Minimum. I might make other things, but we might not. We will see. This video has gone on quite long enough now, for sure. So stick around. And I'll see you at the end of August to see what I actually achieved and see what my September goals are. I feel like I'm starting to find my style. There is another pattern I want to buy, which is the Deer and Doe Circo jumpsuit. And go check it out on Instagram because it looks amazing on every single woman. I I need this pattern in my life. I need tons of jersey fabric from going from I hate jersey to I really need jer everything made out of jersey. I I need this pattern. I am I'm, I'm holding off from buying it. I think until September and then I'm going to go on a massive fabric jersey buying haul. Yeah. I have no self control. That's why I have no money because I keep buying fabric. But I don't buy clothes, so you know, it balances out. Thank you for watching.